Throughout the history of cinema, there's always been heroes and then their counterpart, the villains. From Norman Bates to Michael Myers to Emperor Palpatine and Hela, Hannibal or the Joker, villains are the spice of the sauce that makes a movie more interesting, I'd say in general. Today, we're going to have a look at a lighting technique that is used very frequently throughout the history of motion pictures and we'll also discover the psychological theories behind it on how to light villains. First, let's do a quick test and see what happens when you change the direction of light on a subject. I have a very minimal setup here with the Aladdin All-in-One RGB panel with a soft box attached to it. As we move the light around, notice how the mood of the shot and my appearance changes. My cheekbones are also more prominent and my entire face starts to resemble a skull. The psychological effect that happens here is referred to as dehumanization, which per definition is the process of depriving a person or group of positive human qualities. Movies oftentimes amplify this effect, where they add makeup, prosthetics and CGI elements to make the villain look even less human. A great example would be Christoph Waltz as Ernst Stavro Blofeld and Rami Malek as Lucifer Safin in the newest Bond movie No Time To Die. I'll use a simple light setup to turn myself into a villain. I'll actually start with the background. For my setup I have a black backdrop. That in itself is a bit boring, so I'll use a dead light with a projection lens in front of it and I'll also add a gobo to create a bit of texture and dial the color temperature to 3200 Kelvin aka tungsten. Next, I'll add a backlight to the scene to sort of separate myself from the background. I'll go with an Aladdin All-in-2 with a diffuser in front of it, also set at tungsten light temperature. To limit the spill of backlight, I'll put a grid in front of the softbox. And now it's time for our skull light. This doesn't have to be a massive light. Actually, in this setup, you're probably better off with a small fixture because it creates less spill. My choice is an Aladdin All-in-One on a Matthew C stand with a grip arm attached to it so I can position the Aladdin top down to me without having the stand in frame. Since the Aladdin All-in-One is an RGB light, I'll choose the medium blue filter from the built-in gel library inside of the All-in app. Now the trick is to position the light in a way that it doesn't illuminate the eyes but still the cheekbones and my nose. This is a little bit of trial and error but since the all-in-one is super lightweight this is very easy to pull off. And here we go, a look at the final shot. The thing that no one wants to admit is that most people want things to happen to them. We tell each other lies about the fight for free will and independence. But we don't really want that. We want to be told how to live and then die when we are not looking. People want oblivion and a few of us are born to build it for them. So here I am, their invisible god, sneaking under their skin. <laughs> <laughs> 